in the last eruption, which was the sixth in the sequence of the eruptions in the uh, Reconis Peninsula, we had around 61.2 uh, million cubic meters. That makes it around 180 megatons of lava erupted. You could see that in the amount of the lava visible at the surface. But better than that, we have a thickness measurements. The previous level of, level of the ground, the height was known, and we know now what is the height. We can measure it by GPS, and we can see that at some areas, we have as much as 32 kilo, uh, meters, actually, of lava build up in that area. This is the index, and you can see that many areas have that amount of the lava, which equals to 16 to 20, that orange uh, color. And this is the one of the thickest parts around the center of the eruption. We had more than 32 meters of lava build up. That's the height of the cone, more than that, 40 meters probably. We had some earthquakes in the pre uh, previous days. You can see that some of it was around the Kalir and uh, a little bit to the south of it. The build up of the magma after falling down in the Swartzengi volcanic uh, system in the reservoir uh, is now rising again. We know that in every eruption since the uh, December 2023, we had a little bit delay and it took longer for the lava to erupt. And now we have the prediction and is based on my assessment. 10 of November to 17 of November 2024, we will have an eruption. And this uh, matches with what we already know with the pattern of the, you know, eruptions in the previous ones. Uh, IMO, Icelandic Meteorological Office, has released the uh, updates, land rise. Uh, is continuing. The total volume is known, 60 million cubic meters, as I mentioned, 180 megatons. And seismic activity is at a very low level. That means the extension or the movement of the magma is a very slow, but continuously and steady. So this is the update.